Hello, BookTube. I uh, come to you with another batch of new books today, and you know, as big a fan I, as I am of getting 10 books in the mail every day, I have to admit, uh, not every shipment is a winner. Uh, there are days when you look at the white plastic tub full of packages and you hope for Chris Hemsworth and get Liam. It's just the way the cookie crumbles. Uh, but I wanted to share with you today four wonderful things uh, that I can wholeheartedly recommend. Uh, first one is a history. It's Brothers of the Quill uh, by Norma Clark. It's a story of Oliver Goldsmith, who you might know as the author of The Vicar of Wakefield, but or probably you have never heard of him before at all. Well, the Vicar of Wakefield used to be hugely popular. It's, I don't even think it's in print anymore. Uh, and he is largely forgotten, so you wouldn't think much of all oh, much hope for this but this book is wonderful absolutely great it's the story of he of goldsmith coming to london as a penniless irish immigrant and trying to find work uh, and he finds it with natural cleverness with a facility with the language uh, but the whole world of literary patronage which is where he drifts to he drifts to writing was changing at the time that he that he came to London, it was shifting away from uh, patronage, wealthy patronage, and towards a burgeoning uh, magazine and newspaper market, where you could you could start to earn your living by your pen without assistance from anyone, just earning wages. Uh, and Goldsmith takes a job uh, doing just that. And uh, the author writes, by taking a salary in exchange for labor at stated times of day and by living above the shop, Goldsmith was running certain reputational risk, which he probably understood well enough at the time. The poet in Hogarth's print, The Distressed Poet, writing his poem and hoping to make money from it, was a gentleman. He was following his inspiration. But the man who put himself in harness and wrote to order at once lowered his status. He had entered Grub Street as a hack. Uh, that is the Hogarth painting of the distressed poet. And uh, the world of that, you know, very rawest incarnation of Grub Street is brought amazingly to life in this book. If you are at all interested in the history of my ignoble profession, writing reviews and squibs and pieces for money, uh, this is a, a great addition to the study of that life. Uh, next one far more accessible the latest Maisie Dobbs by Jacqueline Winspear this is Journey to Munich it takes place in 1938 uh, Maisie Dobbs is uh, Jacqueline Winspear's redoubtable passionate agent for the British government uh, whose personal life is every bit as much of a draw in these books as her adventures uh, that's no different in this book either she has uh, lots of baggage from earlier books and to, so the reading of this will really repay fans of the series but i firmly believe that you can come to her, these books anywhere in the series you don't have to start with the first book which is called Maisie Dobbs although if you want to at the library or at a thrift shop if you find it it's a great series to latch on to and of course journey to munich in 1938 is bound to uh raise all sorts of hindsight flags for us in the 21st century but it's not just us uh at the at the end of the book uh neville chamberlain has come back to england uh, with waving his agreement with hitler and saying you know, peace for our time uh and the characters wonder what that all means uh, and one of them uh puts this question to Maisie dobbs and the response himself what do I think? I think you know exactly what I think. We were both in Munich. We saw the brown shirts. We saw the Gestapo. And we both know what goes on in Dachau. And Dachau is only one prison of its kind. There are others and more being built. So what do I think? I think our prime minister is either a fool or a liar. And it might be better for him if he were a fool, though the outcome will be the same. I have to think that some beginnings of that outcome will start cropping up in the next book and can't wait <laughs> but this is wonderful uh, uh next one the lady with the borzoi this is uh laura claridge's biography of blanche knopf the uh the 
founding genius behind the publishing house, the legendary publishing house, and the, as far as I know, the first real full-length treatment of her amazing life that's ever been done. And it's it's an incredible book. It reminds you of how much this one little woman did, a powerhouse that she was in the literary world. Introdu well, here, introducing the... Uh, she introduced American readers to Simone de Beauvoir and to the eventual Nobel laureates Albert Camus and André Gide. She legitimized the hard-boiled detective fiction of such writers as Dashiell Hammett and Raymond Chandler, signed and neutered literary authors including Langston Hughes, Willa Cather, Elizabeth Boehm, Muriel Spark, and acquired momentous works of journalism uh, by John Hershey and William Shire, in addition to being uh, an, an engine of inspiration for the Harlem Renaissance. Uh, this book gives her her due, and the author is very industrious in finding all the best quotes from the people who knew her. So it was a, it was a treat to read it again in finished copy. I got I read the uh, the ARC uh, a month ago, I think. And uh, our last thing, the best of the bunch, something a must buy when you see, is One Wild Bird at a Time. I can't get rid of the glare there. Uh, One Wild Bird at a Time by Bern Heinrich. Uh, a great naturalist and a, the world's foremost popular writer about birds. He's the author of a book called The Mind of the Raven and Ravens in Winter. They're just, you need to go and find them if you're at all interested in nature or birds. And this is uh, just a collection. Each chapter is just his discrete investigation of one different kind of bird. He's an absolute treat. Those of you who have read him will know what I mean. If he is the kind of author when you know a new book is coming out, you know you're going to read it first. You know you're going to put everything aside and read it. Uh, and this is one of those. Uh, I read the ARC and now I'm, I'm reading the finished copy and couldn't be happier. <laughs> so there you have it. That's four absolute wins to, to compensate for some of our dicier, uh, dicier choices in other videos. Uh, so we'll hope for to continue the success tomorrow. I'll, I'll be back and I'll let you know.